believe it. My mom won a contest at work and got very special opening night tickets. I have an extra ticket too. So I've been calling my friends to see who can go with me. But so far, no one can. I'm gonna try one more friend. Hi, it's Callie. Hey Callie. Do you wanna go to the movies with me tonight? Oh, I'm so sorry, I won't be able to come. You can't this time? Oh, I see, it's all right. Maybe we can play another time. Sure. I think that's my last friend to ask. I guess everyone is really busy today. I feel, I feel alone. What do you guys do when you feel alone? I feel so alone. I feel fun at all. If I build a huge Lego tower, no one will see. If I do a cool backflip, no one will see. Oh, look. Some of you are sending me messages right now. Thank you. Let's see. My friend Molly says, Hey, Callie. When I feel alone, I sleep. That would work, I guess, if I was tired. Oh, look, another one. Dan says, Hey Callie, when I feel alone, I stare at the wall. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if I can try that. Okay. This isn't working. <laughs> Maybe I'll listen to a Bible story instead. It's time for our Bible story. King David was getting old. I mean, really old. The question was, who would be king after him? Well, actually, David had made a promise to his wife, Bathsheba, that her son Solomon would be the next king. But, as you can imagine, David's other sons weren't too excited about that, especially Adonijah, one of David's sons, who thought that he should be the next king. So one day, he just decided he would be. That's right, he just said, I'll be king. This was very bad news for Bathsheba and her son Solomon. It meant that Adonijah would try to get rid of anyone who kept him from getting what he wanted. Now you would think that being a queen, Bathsheba would be surrounded by friends to help her. But the truth was, she was alone. Everyone around her was looking out for themselves. She badly needed a friend, so God sent her one. Nathan was a prophet of God. Remember him? He was the one from last week's story that made King David realize he had made a big mistake. Nathan came to Bathsheba and helped her in her time of loneliness. He told her to go to David and remind him of his promise. When she did go, Nathan said he would be right there to back her up. And he was. Because of Nathan's friendship, Bathsheba was able to save her own life and the life of her son Solomon. She did remind David of his promise, and Nathan backed her up. King David followed through with that promise, and Solomon indeed was crowned the king, not Adonijah. Life can feel lonely sometimes. Like Bathsheba, we can feel like everyone around us is looking out for themselves. But today's story reminds us, when we feel alone, God gives us friends. Such a great story. Bathsheba and Solomon were really important people, but they still felt alone sometimes. My mind is blown. So I guess they felt kind of like how I feel right now. I have tons of friends, and this is one day where everyone is kind of busy. That's fine, I guess. And you know what? Even if I feel alone, I'm not really. God is always with me, right? Hey, Callie. Sorry I missed your call. That's okay. I'm waiting to go to a fun night at the movies with my mom and dad. 
I tried calling a bunch of friends to see who would like to come with us, but nobody answered. Oh, that's why you called. When is the movie? Tonight. Hey, are you free? Do you want to come with me? Yes, I love that. Let me ask my aunt to see if she could bring me over. Yay, friend time! <laughs> Yay for friend time! You called me back at exactly the right time when I was feeling lonely and needed a friend. It's just like what we learned in our Bible story today. When we feel alone, God gives us friends. Friends, today was an interesting day. I learned a lot about David, Bathsheba, Solomon, especially God, and even myself. I felt alone and realized it's okay. I just have to wait and chill and my friends will become available. Or sometimes, God helps us make new friends. Anyways, I gotta go get ready for this super special movie night. Thanks for growing with me today. Peace out.